Hey, hey everyone, Final Cut Steph here with some more free effects just for you. In today's video, I am presenting Film Burns from Rampant's Film and Light category. These effects are super popular and to date 2.9 million people have downloaded them. So let's have a quick look at the free Film Burns before I show you where to download and how to use them. You can download these cool Film Burns from 4kfree.com. I'll put a link in the description. Once there, go ahead and enter your name, your email address, and then click here where it says click here to download. After this, you're gonna to need to confirm your sign up in your email and then you'll be redirected to the free effects page. And once on the free effects page, you're gonna see a little thank you because we do love each and every one of you. And if you scroll down, you're gonna see all of the free products there are. There are a ton of them. And in today's tutorial, we are talking about film burns. And to download, all you need to do is come right here and click here to download free effects. And you can start putting these on your content today. So let's head back over to Final Cut and start editing. And the first thing we have to do is we have to import our files, our free film burns into Final Cut. Well, how do we do that? Well, right here you will see all of my film burns downloaded. There's four of them in this free pack. And then I've created an event right here called Free Film Burns. If you don't know how to create an event, just right click and select New Event just like this. And then you can call it whatever you want. I called mine Free Film Burns. It already exists, so we're just going to say Cancel. So I have my, my free film burns event right here. All I need to do now is highlight all these film burns and drag them in and drop them. Now all my free film burns are right here inside Final Cut. So easy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and maximize my Final Cut window so we can see everything a little better. And now we have to start using these. Well, how do we do that? Well, before we start that, I wanna show you first that we are using HD footage. So this is an HD timeline down here. This is HD, this is HD. So this is 1920 by 1080. Now our free film burns are actually 4K. And this is gonna give us a lot of room to play and I'm gonna show you this in just a few seconds. So first, how do we use these? Well, it's real simple. Here's our footage. If we go back to our film burn, you select it, you drag it, you drop it, and you're done. Now all we have to do is we have to get this film burn blended so we can see our video footage underneath. How do we do that? We select our film burn, go to our inspector. If you don't see your inspector open, click right here. You're gonna change the blend mode from normal to screen. Almost done. The last thing we have to do is we have to fix this sizing. Final Cut right now is, is squeezing our 4K footage to fit our frame. So all we can go down here is to Spatial Conform. Right now it's on Fit. If we change this from Fit to Fill, it's gonna take that 4K size and fill our entire HD frame. If you wanna use the 4K size, you click on None. I'm gonna keep this on the, the HD size. I'm gonna click on Fill so you can see what it looks like. If we roll this back through and I let it play, Instant film burn, so nice. Roll it back one more time. Now what about that 4K size, right? We talked about the film burn being 4K. Well, like I said, this is a 1920 by 1080 timeline right now. And if I zoom out, I'm gonna make the window go out just a little bit so I can, I can illustrate this a little better. So you're seeing right here, you're seeing our frame and this is our HD frame. This is the footage. I'm clicked on the footage here and the footage is showing. So it's all fitting in here. Now, if I click on the film burn, you will now see that it's also fitting in this frame. Well, that's because we have this for set to fill. So if I come back over here to my spatial conform and change it from fill to none, now you're seeing the 4K size. So now I have maximum repositionability. I can go up here and I can move it. Well, let me zoom in a little bit. I can now move it around. Okay, I can move it up and down just like this. And if I take this back out so you can see it, now if I move it around, I can do this. I can scale it down, right? Or I can even rotate it just like this. And I can actually rotate this one a complete 90 degrees. And if I change the X back to zero, now you can see that I can move this up and down. And if I play, if I zoom in on this a little bit more and I rewind this, now it looks completely different. Now it actually kind of looks like snow. So it's really cool how you have so much of room to play and sort of make the effect exactly what you want it with the 4K size. And you can still use it in HD timeline, which is great. And that's it. So you drag, drop, blend, and then adjust the clip position to taste, depending on if you want it to be HD if, or if you want to do the 4K size. So let's go ahead and quickly add these amazing film birds to our second clip, which is really simple. Again, you go up, you select it, you drag it, you drop it, and now all we have to do is go to our inspector, change the blend mode from normal to screen, and then the spatial conform from fit to either fill or none if you're looking for the 4K size. Let's keep it on fill and let's roll this through. That looks so awesome and it was so easy. And that's that. 
Now you can know how to add these film birds to your video content. So go ahead and please give them a try and let me know what you think about them. It would also be really awesome if you gave me some feedback by clicking the like button below. If you don't want to miss the next free effects tutorial, go ahead and click on that blue R in the bottom corner and subscribe to our channel. We run on love and we love each and every one of you. So that's all I have to share today. Hope to see you back real soon. I'm Final Cut Steph from RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching. Bye!